Hey guys, I'm here at the pig farm. I don't know why literally nobody told me that there were pigs. But I bought all of them. Oh, and I asked you guys on my Instagram to name them. So really quick before we start this video. Okay, anyways. And I asked you guys to name my pigs. Sorry, I'm like losing my voice. You guys give me a lot of good choices. If you haven't watched this, if you care about pets, I had a video naming all my pets where you guys named them for me. Let's just add these to the list. Okay, name ideas. At least one of them has to be Peppa. Okay, you're right. One of them has to be Peppa Pig. It's gonna be the pink one. The pink one's gonna be Peppa Pig. George, Bacon, Charlotte, Spot, Candy, Dolly, Pooh, Simba, Maybell, and Biscotti. Wait, I love Biscotti. Okay, this one's gonna be Biscotti. I know that the pigs can't run around, but I feel like since the pets are so broken in this game for so long that I don't even care. Frankie or Otis? Okay, I wanna name this one Otis. Actually, let's do the spotted one. It's gonna be Otis. And this one is gonna be Frankie. And then someone said Pinky. And that's a really cute name for a pig, honestly. I'll name this one Pinky. Let's go to Home Stable. I haven't even told you guys what we're doing in this video today. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through all the steps to take a picture for and edit a photo for Procreate. So first I want to do like a fall picture for my Instagram. So we need to find a fall outfit and a fall horse. Do I have any Mustangs on my Instagram? I don't. I haven't even posted any Mustangs. So I'm going to do this horse looks like a fall horse and I'm going to be standing in the picture. So I want to make sure my outfit looks good while standing. All right. I need to find like some sort of fall sweater, something new, something fun, something different. I always love this sweater. Okay, I surprisingly don't think I have any photos on my Instagram with this sweater, which is a missed opportunity. <laughs> We're gonna do this sweater. We need some pants. If you hear a vacuum in the background, no you don't. My biggest problem making outfits is that I never know like what I'm going for. It's like in the notebook. What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? But that's me. I feel like this looks a little special. It's fine. Okay, this could be cute. We will see where this takes us. Okay, Archie needs to be wearing a brown. What even would this saddle match? Like, I'm so confused. I just want like a really basic tack. Okay, I feel like that matches kind of. I would say that this is the hardest part, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> I wish there was like a search bar where we could search for matching sets. Does my matching sets all get lost? Wait, I love this. This for my horse is really vibing me out. I'm not gonna do maiden tail bows for the picture purposes. Okay, now I need to get my outfit crap together because I feel like this is not what we're going for. Ooh, I love these pants. They're giving fall. Some white sneakers. I rarely do helmets, especially in photos. I want something that's this color but isn't this. And I may do no hat because I feel like that's more Christmassy. Okay, now I actually really like this outfit. I think it's very fall, very cozy. And if you've watched any of my editing a photo videos, you probably know how I take all my pictures separately, like my character separately, my horse separately, the background. If you haven't, don't worry, we will do all of it together. Okay, I'm just for the purpose of editing. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna pick a hairstyle where my hair is like out of the way. Wow, my character looks like an egg. <laughs> okay, now let's go take the pictures. I think I'm pleased with this outfit. Don't worry, the hair, I'm only keeping it out of my face out of the way so that I can edit over it and it's not as hard. Okay, I'm gonna do the background first so I know like where how I need to position my character. And I guess we're gonna canter there because I've never ridden Archie before. TBH. I want like an overlook type photo. I think I have an Instagram photo from like here, which is cute. Maybe like from up there would be good. I feel like this could be good. I feel like an overview of Golden Leaf. <laughs> the look in my eyes gives. I'm 100% on. Okay, that could be nice. Kind of cute. Okay, and let's go from the other side. I feel like there were some other spots. I didn't ever notice that this horse's tail is like going gray. Oh my goodness. This is also a good spot. So if you're wanting to take a good picture location, this is possibly one of them. Ooh, I kind of like this. I don't know if it'll work, but... Okay, now I'm going to go somewhere to take pictures of my character. I just changed my home stable recently to golden for fall time because I love fall and it's right by like this area which is good for taking pictures of like your character or photos, maybe some close-ups. I don't know, I honestly have no plan for taking pictures of your horse. Don't take them on the horse. Position your character like in front of the horse for the best angles. I think I want some from this angle. Oh, that's cute. Okay, perfect. The reins are in their neck, which is annoying. So I'm going to try and hide that with the angle. <laughs> okay, now I'm in PicWonky, which is the website I use to like edit my thumbnails and stuff. And usually I don't show you guys the process of me trying to like make the photo that needs to be edited for Procreate. So this is kind of fun and different. I'm just going to put some possibilities. 
out there. And if you want to see, like, I made a video showing how to use this website to make thumbnails and manipulate pictures. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, go watch that video. I have this picture too that I took. I think it was for a thumbnail. And I have this one. Okay, I think I'm going to try this one. We're going to do... And then I'm going to blur the background. And then I'm going to remove the background from this picture. Oh, well, that's cute. And then we'll add this picture. And while I wait for it to load, I'm drinking my kale smoothie. Yeah, so if you guys were wondering about the process for how I make my Instagram photos, this is it. I decided I want more like close-up pictures. I usually keep Star Stable open while I'm like editing these because I never know how the angles are going to turn out, if they're going to like look weird. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. I think it's cool. I'm gonna try out some different backgrounds. I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. I think this is the best one. And I'm gonna give my character and the horse a drop shadow just to create some depth. I feel like the horse isn't standing out very much from the picture. That's the only thing that bothers me. Maybe I'll play with like the lighting of the horse. Okay, I repositioned it a little bit just so the horse's head wasn't like in a dark spot. And I feel like I like it better, but I'm not 100%. I think I like this. And I know my character has blonde hair, so all the edits I do will stand out more than like the horse's red slash black mane will just blend in too much over on this side. So yeah, I think I'm ready to edit. So I'm going to send this to Procreate and I'll see you guys on procreate okay now i'm on procreate and i'm gonna select the photo okay it looks pretty good so i've recently been using this nova's braids and shaders i don't even know what the rest of it says i'll link all of the brushes that i use in the description let's start with the character so usually i like to start with a shade from the hair the character already has and then i'm going to be using nova's brush pack I've been playing around with this the last few Instagram posts. And I'm going to do the cotton candy base. And here I'm just going to make the base shape of the hair. To me, this is the most frustrating part. And so I'm just going to focus and not talk while I do this. I wanted a tucked behind the ear look. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I think this is the basic shape. I've never done any hair shapes like this before. We'll see how it goes. I think I need to warm up the color a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use fountain to do some darker highlights. I always forget to make new layers, so I'm gonna really try to remind myself. Ooh, I really like that. Okay. And now, before I forget, I'm going to add some flyaway pieces. I'll use Desire. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to just add multiple layers of different shades. So because the color is like kind of warm, I'll add like a warm tone shade of layers. And I'm still using Desire. Actually, this time I'm going to use Disappear. And now I'm going to add lighter shades on top. I'm going to use Desire. And then I'm going to add really light, darker shade on top, and I think I'm done with highlights. When I say highlights, I was talking about like the different shades of like when you get highlights in your hair, but I know highlights are something different in art, so <laughs> forgive me. Now I'm going to go in and do shading and highlights. I like to do shading first. So I'm going to use ashy shade, maybe use like this color. Not super good at this, but I like to, oh I need to make a new layer. I like to put shading where it naturally would be, like shadows. <laughs> Just like by the root of the hair and like around the face in between certain pieces of hair like i said i'm like still learning <laughs> and for highlights i'm gonna do this and try and brighten up certain areas where like the sun might touch and i'm 
just lightening up some of the low lights I did. I'm gonna use like a warmer color to do some sparkly hair pieces, some like goldy pieces. I'm gonna use this brush Glow Up, it's one of my favorites. So like in the areas where I did highlights, you can literally paint in like flecks of gold. It's so pretty. You definitely need to use a light hand. And if I do too much, I just lighten it up by using the eraser tool on like a really low opacity. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for like single glowy strands. So Give Me More is a good one for like small pieces. And I'm gonna use Magical Whisker in single strand and Rainy Days and I've got Sunshine just to like make some individual hairlines. I really like Gentleman. I'm gonna use that to like accentuate some of these flyaway pieces. Okay, the hair looks a little messy, but like in the best way. <laughs> I kind of want to do one more like thing of glow up. Okay, I like how that looks. Okay, I just added this piece and I can't decide if I like it. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's a little curly, but we love curly hair, so it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna do the eyes. I watched a tutorial for eyes, I think by Ruby Disco Cloud, and this is kind of like she put like a ton of color in the eyes and I really like that so I've been trying it. I think I'm going to start with like a burnt orange and I use the eye brushes pack from Ruby Disco Cloud. So I do line painting and I'm just following the natural line they used. And I'm just using a, like a darker color for the shading. Then I'm going to pick a different color and I'm going to use a blending brush by Haze Long. Smudge brush, medium blend. Cool, and I like how that looks, so I'll do the same thing for the other eye. Cool, okay, now I'm gonna go in and add some different colors. I'm back in the eye brushes thing, I'm gonna do changing color. Okay, I've kind of put some different colors in. I'm gonna do glossy with the main color in it. Kind of brush through the eyes. I'm gonna do a soft blend of a little darker color. Okay, now I'm gonna do highlights. I'm gonna use the portrait brushes from Hazel Long and do reflective highlights to draw like the lines that go in your eye. Okay, the, I think the eyes are done. I'm gonna use this Lashes Brows brush to draw like some eyelashes. And then let's pick a fall color lip. I use the eye brush for lips, changing color. And then I use Glossy. Ooh, I kinda like that. And I'll do the highlights. Okay, this looks kind of spooky for Halloween, which I kind of love. Then I'm gonna change my eyebrows because I hate this color of eyebrows. I'm gonna make them like more taupe and use the detailed lashes. Okay, that's it for my character. The eyes look like orange, which is kind of cool because it's like for a fall Halloween. And next is the horse. I'm gonna use this braids and do Lara's knots black. And I just put it on there. <laughs> And then move it around because I want my horse to have like a top knot. Okay, from here I can go in and like do details, fill in the braids. And now I'm 
und genaue Details. Okay, that's good enough for now. Now I'm gonna go in with the main, draw the base. Doing black veins is always the hardest to me because you're like, you want it to be black, but you also like need to have different colors in there too. That's always a struggle to make details come out when it's black. And I'm gonna make this look like the hair is like looped back. Now I'm gonna add really fine details. Horse hair is a little thicker, so I like to do more single strands. Okay, now I'm gonna do highlights, which is really hard on black hair. Like like a lighter shade. And I'll honestly probably just use glow up. Okay, I love this. And if I blend in some glowy strands, it'll look even more natural. I'm not really gonna worry about doing shadows because the hair is already pretty dark. And now I'm just using a blending brush to lighten up the mane a little bit so the gold isn't so shocking. Okay, now I'm gonna do the horse's eyes. Pretty much the same process as the human eyes. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. The last step is glitter in the background, my trademark for all my Instagram photos. Okay, I think it's done. So now I'm gonna export my time-lapse video and then upload it to Instagram. And I'm gonna schedule it to come out the same day this video comes out. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this procreation video. Go check out my Instagram if you want to like that photo I just posted with this video at Coco Rosewater. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm on the nice, you never guess. I've been hiding a monster.